the rugged island of Negros in the Philippines, where hilltop villagers used to have a long and arduous trek to fetch water. Help is coming from a simple technology that pumps the water uphill without any external power source. Bacolod City in the Philippines. This is where a Dutchman, Oka Itzenga, started the Alternative Indigenous Development Foundation. To date, the foundation has helped supply running water to 170 mountain villages with its round pumps. The round pump is a device which uses the energy contained in falling water to, to lift a portion of that water to very high elevations. It pumps 24 hours a day, continuous, pumping for free, hardly any maintenance. It's, it's so simple. It's a very old uh, technology. It's more than 200 years old. For myself, I work on this technology for 25 years. The demand came for this pump, so we spread over different islands from the Philippines. We did installations in uh, Japan. Uh, we moved pumps to Ma Malaysia. We did three installations in Afghanistan. Then we are doing, at the moment, uh, Nepal, and we are working on Colombia and Madagascar. Duong village is about to get two pumps. They're loaded onto the truck at the factory. It's the start of a three-hour journey. We manufacture uh, the pump ourselves. That's also the concept of our uh, foundation, local manufacturing, also to create employment. There's not enough employment in the Philippines. The pump is a precision uh, machine, which has to be manufactured here in a precise way. But after it has been installed, it should be easy to operate and easy to maintain. Duong village, high in the volcanic mountains, is a place for the hardy. The villagers, who have so far not benefited from the ram pump revolution, still collect water the old way. Every day, an ox cart makes 17 return journeys to transport water from the river. It's a four-kilometer return trip along a precipitous track. This gives a typical household of six 100 litres a day, the bare minimum for drinking, preparing meals and washing. By comparison, the average daily water use in the UK is 150 litres per person. For the villages lower down the mountainside, ox carts are no longer needed. They received their ram pumps a few months ago. Water now reaches the villages at a rate of 700 litres per day per house, seven times more than before. <laughs> I had to fetch water far from my home. Many times a day I had to carry it in bamboo containers on my back. It was so difficult and heavy that I became sick and finally I was forced to leave the village and live in the city where I didn't have to fetch water. Since they've brought the running water to the village, I've come back to live here again, at my place. After a three-hour journey in the lorry, it can go no further. The pumps have to be transported on foot over the valleys as far as the riverbed. It takes just a few minutes to assemble the ram pumps. These pumps will deliver water right to Duong village using just the energy from the running water. No motor is needed to pump the water along the pipes to the village 125 metres above the river. OK, we are here at the new system with uh, two ramp pumps. It took only five minutes, as you saw, uh, to assemble. Uh, the whole installation takes only three weeks. Then we supply already 50 households with around 300 people with uh, water. From the river, stream or spring, the water is delivered to the pump through a sloping pipe using gravity. It closes the waste valve, creating high pressure. The water then travels vertically through the pump body, opens the delivery valve, enters the pressure chamber and compresses the air in the column. The compressed air then forces the water back, closing the delivery valve. At the same time, water flows up the delivery pipe. Then the pressure falls in the lower part of the pump and the waste valve opens, allowing the water to go down the drive pipe. 
The waste valve closes once more, the delivery valve opens, and the cycle starts again. This is repeated by up to a hundred times a minute. The whole installation has cost $8,500, usually split three ways, a third from the government, a third from the Alternative Indigenous Development Foundation, and a third from the village. Every fitted pump has a dedicated technician in the village, trained by the foundation. water maintenance. Around 50,000 villagers have benefited from the pumps and almost 400 technicians have been trained so far. The technicians and the installations are monitored by the foundation's engineers. And if it were to win the World Challenge 2010, what would the foundation do with the prize money? A, a lot of things. We have many ideas of uh, finishing a test tower, more installation teams. Uh, we want to buy some, uh, some machines. Also, we want to add another community organizer. And we want to develop more uh, technology transfers to outside. This time on World Challenge, we're giving each finalist a chance to say why their project deserves to be a winner. Share with us your love and care. Share with us your kindness. You'll be a sacred place of sand. In the land of our birth, the flows of water from spring. It's the shower of love from your heart.